Traverse channel where we're doing a van build. Today we're going to wire up the five gang switch panel to my van. I had some problems with this in my last van. Um, it's like so I wired these four switches up and I'd have to press the last switch that I've wired up for it all to turn on. So we're going to try and avoid that this time. I will show you the back of this now just so you can compare it to your own because I found there's a, like a lack of this online when I was researching it. At the top here we have our switches all along there like that and behind the switches you have a live coming out with a fuse, blade fuse sort of socket for it and these are your lives that go to your appliances and then here at the bottom behind the 12 volt socket we have a live for the whole switch panel going straight to the battery then a neutral for the switch panel this will go to your grounding point wherever your grounding point is in your van so I've already got all the wires coming out the wall ready we're just going to wire it all up and then wire each appliance to the switch that I want to like if this thing's constantly lighted up then I'm going to be trying to wire a switch into the live so that then I can control whether there's power going to it or not because this thing will be constantly lit up and I don't want that. Um, I'll do a quick time lapse of me connecting up all the wires. All you'll need is wire strippers, crimp and crimp connectors. I'm pretty sure for this size wire it's going to be the red crimp connectors. If not it will be the blue but I'm pretty sure it's the red. You'll see in the video. If you have a shiny surface that you don't want to damage going into the wood, like I do here, then you're going to want to make pilot holes with a drill for the screws, slightly smaller than the screws, so it goes in easy. This one's probably slightly a bit big, but I'm not going to go in all the way, just so that it easily grips and finds its way in, and also you don't want to scratch the top of the screw because if you scratch it, it will just look like a naff finish and you obviously you want a good finish so we'll sort that out now so in here you'll find a blade fuse There's, these fuses like protect the appliance from getting damaged from too high a voltage and you can usually read up what sort of amps fuse you need but yeah find out the amperage uh, the amp sort of fuse you need for that appliance and then whack it in there for each one if you're trying to neaten up any cables in your van these things are awesome they come with zip ties or you need to buy zip ties as well but it's like Cable tidy, I think they're called. Cable tidies. There's the live wire and the negative. I've put these over here in case I want to put a switch on the live wire to control the power going to the switch panel. And that switch could be over here next to the switch panel. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay, I'm back. Got a bit carried away with the rest of the van build, but here is the switch panel got carried away with the van build because I was going to Scotland for a trip and I wanted curtains and I wanted the gas hob working so I was on a mission. Now I have all the electrics connected up. If you want to see more on that then check out the electrics layout video on my channel. I explain everything to do with electrics. Here's the isolated switch for the battery. Decided to have that here instead of down there because I wanted it to control the heater as well or any other appliances you want to add in the future. The heater's down there, another video on that. Anyway, here is the switch panel, all lit up. Now we have the lights. That's, that's one there. And this one is a touch one, which is pretty cool. It's also touch dimmable. Look, check it. Now, I've added the fuses in the back don't forget to do that 
now everything works. Uh, I've shown you the light, so I'll show you the tap. It's a mess because of the Scotland trip. Scotland's pretty amazing, by the way. Definitely worth going. If you found this video helpful in any way whatsoever, then please watch other videos that I have on the channel and subscribe and like, and I'll see you again soon.